Hello everyone, how are you doing? On this video, we're going to be exploring the system CTL command and just a bit more uh, in depth on what we can do with it. So I have here my Kali Linux machine uh, running on my virtual network and we're going to just uh, SSH into it and we're going to start exploring some of the commands. So I like to SSH from the PowerShell itself instead of using Putty. And here I'm going to type in my command. Type the password. Okay. And I'm, I'm in. So over here, I'm, we're going to be exploring uh, just a few of the system CTL commands. I'm going to be using the SSH uh, service for this example. You probably are familiar with this command, CTL status. And then here you can type the name of your service. So over here, you're going to get this normal uh, output. You're going to tell you if the service is active, if it's enabled to be uh, automatically turned on by default, uh, the process ID, and also there's some uh, journal information. We're not seeing the journal information at the moment because we have to run the command with sudo. So if I type sudo systemctl status, and now I'm going to get the journal information. Okay. Another thing that you want to do is if you want to get a verbose of the journal uh, output, you can just put dash O space verbose. And what we're going to do now is that every line for the journal is going to be a bit more information of what happened at that time. Okay. So just select like the runtime. What kind of where, where the service was uh, located? So this is pretty much a, a more in-depth information for each line of the journal. Usually, uh, the status here would be enough for you. Okay, and if you want to get a normal overview of the journal, you can type in on journal CTL, and what I do is that I do a grep. In this case, we're looking for SSH. All right. So over here we're going to get like a list of all the journals uh, related to SSH. Okay. And normally like what you could do, like you could output that to a file. And then you can just uh, cat the file. Okay. And do the same thing. So you can do a grep um, socket. All right. And sometimes like you can do like a, a word count for this as well. So just going back to a uh, system CTL. Um, so let's just go back to us on second over here. So what I wanted to show is that like uh, here you have the main process ID. So what you can do is that now you can uh, run another command PS dash P for process. And I'm going to put the A11 because that's the uh, first ID for our service. And that's going to tell me like uh, which service was it. Okay. And I can put a uh, dash dash all. Sorry, there's a, just one dash all. And it's going to tell me like all the ones that are linked to the service. Another thing that you want to do is that probably check all the running services on your system. And one way to do that is to do system CTL list units. And it's going to give you like all the ones that are active, uh, inactive. Okay. And we can also filter them. Another uh, view that you can probably do is that if you do list system CTL list units, list unit files. And what you can do is you can type service. So in this case, only show me the services. Okay. And here I'm going to get like a, a better view of all the services that are currently uh, enabled, disabled. Or in this case here, uh, static, which are did not enable and uh, the configuration file has not been enabled for it. All right. What you could do as well 
So you can do a type service, you can do a grab SSH. And now it's going to show me like uh, all the services. Okay, just for that um, SSH service that we're looking at. I'll just show you how it looks if we just do list units. Okay, so it's a different result. But it's a similar. Another, another thing that you want to do, just clear the screen for a second. You can do system CTL, the list dependencies, SSH. And over here, it's going to show me all the dependencies related to SSH service. Okay. Um, the ones that are dotted green are active and let me just show you how this looks from the normal uh, system itself so for the system CTL status sorry system CTL list dependencies SSH so you're going to tell like which ones are active or inactive okay the green ones are active the ones that are not uh, are not active you can also do a plane. In this case, it's going to like a display the output in a straight line instead of showing like in a tree format. This could be uh, useful for bringing this to another digestion of data somewhere else. If you want to see more information on the process, you can do systemctl cat ssh so that's going to be like the normal configuration file at the moment for the service it's going to tell you like which service is it at the top and then over here you can see uh, some more con conditions for it some more requirements only after the services have started to run the service should be run okay if you want to get more in-depth information for the service you can do system ctl and that's going to be show ssh and this is going to be like a pretty much the the configuration files and all the underlying files that make the application okay so this is a very uh, low level configuration it's very rarely you'll be using it but it's just good to know it's there If you want to know if the server is active, just run systemctl, it's active SSH, it's going to say it's active or it's not active. All right. Um, this could be useful if you're doing any sort of like a bash script to make sure a system, uh, the services gets restarted or maybe like you get a notification for it or it starts another job in the application. Just one command, another command that I want to show you is like if we do system CTL and if we do list units, so they can do a type, and here I can put a so service again. And you can also put a state, so here state can be a active. So it's only going to show me the ones that are active, okay. You can also do a set of list units. Let's say list uh, jobs. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any jobs running. You can list sockets. You can also list machines. Okay. But normally, uh, if you're troubleshooting with system CTL, I imagine like you probably will be using the system CTL status and do a service. From here, 
you can check uh, the PID of the service and then do a PS P the ID and you can also do a system city house list dependencies and what I would use it this dependencies with is that if you uh, get a system let's say for example that if you have an SSH service that's not running on a system you can do a list dependencies and check to see if all of the all the dependencies are running on that system and compare it to what system that is working in that case you find out exactly which dependencies are not active yet and then just narrow down uh, your troubleshoot on that way okay but yeah that's it i want to show you guys from this video and uh i'll catch you guys next time have a good one